One more try. Adjusted the timing. Now the fuel in here is, uh, wow, uh, very old. And it's been sitting in there since 20, well, since the divorce, 2017. Um, I did put that uh, fuel stabilizer in it, but I don't know how long that lasts. And it sat for a long time, so that might be a problem too. We'll find out. You like a white paint marker because I can't see my tummy mark. Oh, yeah, I would have painted that sucker. Thank you, Spike, for helping. You're doing a fine job. This is pretty exciting though. This is the closest it's come to actually starting. This is very exciting. A long process. Get a little money, put a little extra, little extra money, put it into the car, have to wait again. A little extra money, put it in the car, have to wait again. So this is a pretty big deal. You got a fuel pressure gauge for the electronic fuel pump. And also added this. all the other pressure gauges that the car didn't originally come with. It's a big solid door. This girl is extremely heavy. It's the uh, unibody construction. This is why there's not very many of these left because they were used by uh, all these guys in uh, demolition derbies because they were just pretty bulletproof. The Lincolns too. Late 50s, early 60s were unibody construction, which means everything's complete and it's just put down there. And it's all one piece. It's tough. It's a tank. Extremely heavy. Um, but they've all been using these demolition derbies, so they're very rare now, which is good for me. But I think they were such beautiful cars. You don't see them very often in car shows just because they are so rare. And doing a little research, this was number 78 of the first 100 made of the very first new model year in 1958. This was number 78, the first 100. And it had factory air conditioning, which was a big, big deal then. Big upgrade. So, um, she's a great girl. Got her started when I first uh, got her back in 2008. Clean it all up, replace all the fluids, replace all the belts and hoses and everything, and um, fired it up. And she ran for a long time. Um, but then after being stored up in the mountains and everything, just did, did a lot of damage and had to just basically replace the engine because it was so tore up from the floor up by that point. Um, according... So they would, you know, they will go over, but according to the odometer, it's only got like, what is it, 78,000 miles? Original miles? Can't really see it very well. 
go. That's a little promising, yeah. It's out of fuel right now, right? You don't have gas in it, do you? I've been wounded. Yeah, we got gas in it. But it's, yeah. Well, no, not anymore. No? Guys, see what the timing's at. Oh, we got no. gas in the tank, I think, is what no. he's asking. No. Not being supplied. No, there's no gas anywhere. Oh, 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 our new, uh, got it. It's not being hooked up yet. Hmm. What's that? It's down in there. I can't see it. Starter. It's a new starter. It's pretty close right there. Okay, now I'll try the fuel. So I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> 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 Need some gas. Where's our Kura's light? Where's your gas? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, don't put your head over it. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to get that throttle? You hit it? Yeah. Come on, girlfriend. Come on. You can, you can do it. Put your back into it. Oh, I hear a door or something. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey. Is that a thunder bird? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've just been describing it this whole time on camera, and he goes, I don't know. Backfire. What you got in mind? Fuel pump time. Fuel pump time. Okay, we're gonna be a while. Pick it up in a second. Pipes on hooked up. It's actually sounding pretty good. Now. Oh no, heck no. No, that's why it's so loud. Oh, it's heck so yeah, better. you just wait. You think it's loud now? Um, yeah, we're we're not running just straight pipes. We're running no pipes. No, that's why it's all loud. <laughs> but uh, we uh, we primed the uh, fuel pump, hooked it up, got it going. Everything's working. 
It is an electronic fuel pump though, so you gotta hook it up permanently to keep working, but just to get gasoline into the from the tank into the into the carburetor. Uh, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> Marshmallows are done. That was a lot of flame. More bounce. <laughs> huh? Need some more bounce. Oh my god. It goes that way. Closest this girl's been. That new engine's been rebuilt in there for almost a year now. Gee whiz, the one year warranty is just about up. Haven't even started it yet. <laughs> kind of poor planning. But my friend who was helping me, Harold, man, what a good guy. Lost him last year because uh, he checked himself into the hospital. Actually, his wife did when he got the flu because they were all afraid of the COVID thing unfortunately you want to make sure you're going to kick it go into the hospital that's what happened unfortunately so anyway the car sat at his place for a long time we we're trying to figure out what to do he was sick for a long time Here we are now. So I only do like a, a little bit. Okay. Maybe? <laughs> well, no, I was holding it steady and probably and I tried to do that and I probably shouldn't have. I probably should, while it was running, I should probably should have just left it the way it was. Oh, well. That was fantastic, huh? <laughs> I didn't see oil pressure. Huh? I didn't see oil pressure. You didn't see any oil pressure? Not yet. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> that's been a recur with the oil pressure. Um Looks like this might be a work. We hooked up a new fuel gauge. My fancy new ones down there don't seem to be working. Oh, shit. Oi. Whoops. Electrical fire. I dropped a wire. Is that what happened? Shoots. <laughs> I'm freaking all these wires. I just dropped one. That's funny. Oh, no. Hang on. So we uh, checked it. It got up to 50, so we're good. So we know we're getting oil into the cylinders and everything else is supposed to be set. That wire's done, huh? <laughs> no reason. Nothing. Nothing to see here. Something, something no, no, no. Fires. No, no. That's crazy. What makes you say that? Smoke. Smoke? What, what are you talking about? Oh, I smell burning rubber here. Oh, burning. What, what are you talking about? I don't smell anything like that. What's wrong with you? Maybe it's your dog. Kiva, what do you think? Maybe it's time to bathe your dog. <laughs> Look at all the smoke. Okay. <laughs> uh, breathe deeply, my friends. It's healthy. It's good American electrical fire plastic smoke. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it again. Ready? Want me to do a throttle? I wanna see if it'll idle. Okay, see if it'll idle. 
I'm not gonna mess with the throttle this time, I'm just gonna keep it going. <laughs> Right Dang. There. So what is, what is your problem? Are Just you needed somebody to look at it. I was running the throttle and the camera. I, I didn't know what the fuck you're saying. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Breathe in more of that smoke. It'll be good for you. <laughs> well, I got to say, this is an awesome day. That's the first time that engine has fired up since I got it. Rebuilt 352 Ford. Police the, interceptor. Oh, we need to put tires on it so we can drive it. Oh, well, thanks. Well, okay, we'll get right on that, Bubba. Oh, man, that's good. That's <laughs> good. Tires on there. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. It's working, Spike. Spike headed for the hills as soon as we started it up. It's a little too loud for you, huh, little pal? Stop dog spike. Thank you, Lord, for this great car. We've gone through a whole lot to get it to where it is. Do you know that? This has been quite a journey. You know what? This has been a real journey. Alright, time for a beer. Time for a beer. <laughs> See y'all later. Man, this is good. <laughs>